Hey, 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 Tommy, tell the truth here. Hello, hello, hello. Hope everybody had a super Sunday, a wonderful weekend, and you're ready to have a marvelous Monday tomorrow and a wonderful week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I am back for a little uh, <clears throat> Mandela effect um, um, dealing with Steven Seagal. Or now we should call him Steven Siegel. <laughs> anyway, uh, I clearly remember it being Steven Seagal, not Seagal. Um, and, you know, I uh, was once into karate for a long, long time. I went to Chuck Norris Karate Studios. I've told the stories about that before. Anyway, so uh, I've always been in the fighting movies and... And, uh, you know, fighting, uh, karate, all that good stuff. So, yes, it was Steven Seagal before the Mandela effect changed it to Seagal. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what I got here. Some some new uh, evidence or like-minded um, people that remember like we do. Some people don't like me to call it residue every time. But anyway, so I believe you can read the headline here. 20 facts about Steven Seagal that fans choose to ignore. There you go. Steven Seagal without the C in it. S-E-A. It's S-E-G-A-L, not S-E-A-G-A-L. All right. So on to the next one here. Sylvester Stallone, blah, 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 blah. yeah, uh, my Spanish isn't what it used to be. Bruce Willis, okay, then um, we'll just go ahead and have F3 it and put Seagal. All right, here we go right here. And it's talking about uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Steven Seagal, with the, without the A, so obviously... Just blow that up so you can see it right there. Steven Seagal. All right. And let's get that back down to size. Okay. And the next one. <clears throat> Steven Seagal once assaulted this com com comedic actor on the set. Steven Seagal, not Steven Seagal. There you go, right in the headline, right in the URL up here too, the R URL. Steven Seagal, not Seagal. Let me X off of these while we're going to them here. Hopefully, yeah, I probably shouldn't do that in case this video isn't working right. With Kim Kardashian fined 1.3 million for crypto promotion, which of which other celebs could be in trouble? And there it is, right there, right in the thing here. Floyd Mayweather, Steven Seagal, not Seagal, Kim Kardashian, DJ Khalid, uh, Paul Pierce. Um, so yeah, there you go, right there, Steven Seagal, not. Seagal, and I will go ahead and make it bigger so you can see it. Right there, Steven Seagal, not Seagal. <clears throat> All right, so we have here, right in the headline again, thank you, Steven Seagal, for... <clears throat> a battleship U.S. Missouri was given a big screen send-off. Steven Seagal. Seg Seagal. <laughs> Not Seagal. Not Seagull, like a seagull. All right, anyway. Um, <clears throat> moving on, we have... Let's see. This one's not going to let me. That's nice. Let's see if we can see it anyway. Oh, Okay. Oh, no thanks. Maybe it will. Let me see it. Oh, man, but it won't go to it now. 
Maybe it will. Huh. Dude looks like the Monopoly guy. <clears throat> Thank goodness I'm not muted. I was like, I wonder if I'm muted right now. Yeah. All right, where we got Seagal at? Right here, Steven Seagal. Okay, now this one, this guy is actually named Steven Seagal. Two. Like we remember, now this Los Angeles Daily News crap is fixing to piss me off. I saved this one because it's it, it says, you know, he's Steven Seagal. But then it reminds you, oh, but not the actor. So his his name is spelled S E G L A L, like we remember Steven Seagal. Uh, but they have to remind you that it's not the actor. Well, if if <clears throat> if uh, Steven Seagal's name was spelled like his now, like it used to be, then you know there'd be a problem. But he his name is not S E G A L like that guy's anymore. So. <laughs> Imagine that. They don't need to remind you anymore. Kevin Sorbo, trends after coming out against a big decision. All right, what we got here? Steven's going to go somewhere. And it's not, oh, oh, right there. Okay, so Adam Z Kinzinger, he's got a check mark, commented and said, Stop watching anything with Ke Kevin Sorbo. I am sure Russia can watch his stuff with Steve Steven Seagal. So that's where we got it. And this one was uh, them showing a tweet by somebody that whoever he is uh, with a check mark. Okay, so that's that one. <clears throat> he remembers Seagal like we do. <clears throat> Chris Hem Hemsworth says he isn't ready to retire his role as Thor yet. Let's see. Right there. Okay, now we have another comment. This is a, the second one that is a comment or something. Um, so this person, Deadpool Bat, says, uh, Steven Seagal still gets roles, but it's about the caliber you get when all of them keep flopping. <laughs> so there you go, Steven Seagal, this guy, Seagal, Seagal. Don't matter how you pronounce it, it didn't have two A's in it, folks. It was S E G A L, like this is right here, not Seagal. S E E A. <clears throat> All right, so moving on, we're going to go to another one in Spanish, but uh, we will hit the FE. There we go. This one mentions somebody I mentioned. I went to his karate schools. Okay, here we go. Gene Claude Van Damme, Chuck Norris, and Steven Seagal. Seagal. There you go, Seagal. No Seagal. It's S-E-G-A-L. Once again, but, you know, we're all just re misremembering <laughs> how to spell the guy's name. He would have been joked all along. Oh, gosh, I can't blow this one up. Okay, well, too many uh, ads. Ten M A Tim M E M. Oh, that's hard to say. Ten M M A fighters who turned to acting, and he's one of them. So let's see. Here we go. Um, Chuck Liddell from UFC, UFC, UFC. he, uh, he co-starred with actors such as Steven Seagal, Tim Allen. Okay. So Steven Seagal wasn't an MMA fighter, but he was a karate fighter, I believe. But anyway, uh, so there you go again, Steven Seagal, not Seagal. <clears throat> Maybe it'll let me blow this one up. Yeah. Steven Seagal. Right there. And then it hits us with an ad, of course. You know, it seems like the, the, the Internet is just full of ads now. Everywhere you go, Facebook, I mean, everybody's trying to sell you something everywhere. It's just just overrun with ads now, you know, because everybody's trying to make an easy, you know, uh, buck. And most of the time, selling stuff online is easy. All right, so we have um, <clears throat> uh, DMX and Steven Seagal, picture of them from Exit Wounds. They were they were in the movie Exit Wounds in two thousand one. 
Got to love that year, huh? All right, we're going we're gonna to make it big here so you can see. Where are you at? Right there. Exit Wounds. 2001. Steven Seagal and DMX and Exit Wounds in 2001. S-E-G-A-L, folks. Not Seagal. Seagal. All right. And here we are. This one. Um, and this is uh, looking back at the worst action movies of the 90s. <clears throat> Featuring deep cuts from the filmography of Steven Seagal, John Cla Claude Van Damme, Bruce Willis, and more. Okay, let's show you what we got here. There you go. Steven Seagal. S-E-G-A-L. No two A's. All right, from from like two weeks ago, is Netflix lesson plan based on a true story or a book? And we go down here, and it says, Damien is a successor of many roles. Actors such as Jean Claude Van Damme, Chuck Norris, and Steven Seagal played in their careers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there you go. Steven Seagal. S-E-G-A-L. <clears throat> All right. Um, that's, that's it. I mean, there's more, but, uh, you know, I want to keep this short. And, uh, I want, you know, I like to bring you new stuff. I think only one or two of these were, were old um if they were but uh so yeah hopefully this uh recording's better than the last one i'm sorry about the echoing um i've got the earphones on now so to take care of you know the sound hopefully that it, it won't echo but of course i'm not showing you anything with sound so um you're just hearing me so it shouldn't shouldn't be a problem but 20 facts about Steven Seagal. All righty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this. So I tell you what I could do is give you some bonus Mandela effect material. Yep, yep, yep. I sure could. How about we go to right here. How to win in court. No, that's something I saved from... Karen B show. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Good stuff though. All right. Recap. John Hopkins University has no involvement with the real housewives of Potom of Potomac. Whatever it is. All right. So there you go right there. John Hopkins University, folks. That's what I remember. I don't know about you. But now it's always been John's John's. Hopkins University. Nobody know, nobody names their son Johns, but you know, this guy is uh, now Johns Hopkins. And uh, so, yeah, that's a pretty big one there. Um, and I've got a couple more for it, I do believe, right here. Did Strange World did the Strange World opening weekend box office suffer from RSV crisis? All right, let's hit the F three. Oops. Put in. Oh, I thought I reset. Um, John. Okay. Oh, well, that's weird. Okay, never mind. This one is a Seagal one that uh, we didn't look at. Steven Seagal, right there. Unless I, hold on, let's see. Unless I got on the wrong one. Uh, 
Yeah, that was it. Yeah, okay. So that was just another one I, I forgot to show. So, all right, but I should have some more. Um, of the other. The heck, man. I don't really want to agree to that, but. All right, hold on. Let me see where the rest of my. Uh, John Hopkins was because I think I had more. I don't know, I'm not seeing it. That's weird. It's probably in this one though too. Uh, let me see. F three. Yep, sure is. Okay, because I got confused when I saw this one, and it was a NASA article. I was like, oh, did I save it because it's stupid NASA? All right, here we are right here. So uh, <clears throat> NASA, the German Aerospace Center DR, DLR Observatory, uh, something, something, OCA, and the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. Okay, not Johns Hopkins. But then they want to do that crap, man, with those ads. All right. I can't get rid of it. But right there, John Hopkins University, not John's. Okay, so I knew I at least had one more. And let me just see if I had any more. Check this one real quick because it might be two. I think it is. F3. Right here. Here we go. So... We have <clears throat> more John Hopkins, and this is uh, from about two two weeks ago, too. It's November 22nd, 2022. All right, so we have an influx of immigrants changed the country's attitudes towards common schools. John Hopkins University professor Dr. Ashley Rogers Burnett, Burnert, Talks about Horace Mann in the latest episode of History 605. So there you go. Let me, let me get that uh, up to size for you there. Right there. John Hopkins, not Johns Hopkins, which is retarded. And definitely not what many of us remember. Definitely remember John Hopkins. All right. So I think that's it. I did show a video. Here's some cliff notes, just real quick. I'm not going to pick. I'm not going to click on each one of these individually. But right here, for it, uh, I did a video the other night showing in a movie uh, cliff notes instead of cliffs notes that it's now changed to after the Mandela effect. And uh, as you can see right here, the first results for cliff notes in news was cliff notes. Cost heap, cost heap, pressure on the consumer and business. Again, right there, Cliff Notes. Okay, and then now it's always been Cliff's Notes, which is crazy. Um, let's see if we have any more. Yeah, right there, three days ago, Cliff Notes, not Cliff's Notes. Right there, uh, right here, one day ago, Evil West has a Cliff notes style of storytelling usually cliff not cliffs right here one day ago even the mlb networks advanced <clears throat> stat kings yankees don manley deserves hall of fame here are the cliff notes not cliffs notes but we have nothing to see we have nothing to show you we're just misremembering yeah, so many of us, exact memories. Oh, boy. But the deniers will deny. That's what they do. I'm here to tell you the Mandela effect is real and supernatural, magical, whatever. And uh, it's crazy. We're not crazy. <laughs> All right. Um...
Here's another one right here a week ago. Cliff Notes right there. And I'm going to go ahead and end this one. 20 minutes is pretty long for, uh, for me doing a short video anyway. <laughs> so I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, stuff there. And uh, <clears throat> have a great night. It's uh, 427 somewhere, so I'm going to get the bucket bong packed up and uh, do my thing. All right. Tommy here. Tommy out. God bless you all.